Welcome back to part three of the sock knitting tutorial. Just adjust the camera. So you should have gone ahead and knit your foot. This is mine and I've done 54 rows of the foot. So now we are going to start, oops, start on the toe. So I'm going to be doing a contrast colour toe which is in this yellow. If you want to do the same colour then just carry on in the same yarn that you've been using. So we're going to start off by cutting off my main colour and we are going to join in the first colour. Now the toe is a two round repeat. The first round is going to be the decrease round and then the second round will be a plain knit round. So, join in your contrast colour and first of all what you want to do is you knit the first stitch. For your next stitch the, it is a slip slip knit, so slip, slip and then knit those two stitches together. And then you're going to knit across to the last three stitches. So this is all on needle one. So we're just going to knit across to the last three stitches. And this is our toe decreases. So when you get to those last three stitches, you'll knit two together. And then knit one. And you're going to do exactly the same thing on needle two. So you're going to knit one, slip, slip and knit those two stitches together and then knit across to the last three stitches. And when you get to the last three stitches, you are going to knit two together and then knit one. And that's the first of your, re of your two row repeat. And for the second round, what we're going to be doing is just plain knit all the way around. So round one is your decrease round and round two is just knit. So if we go on to round two, I'm getting caught up in my tails here. And we're just going to knit this round now. Thank you. 
all the way around. And we're just going to carry on like this, doing these two rounds until we get down to 14 stitches on each needle. So we're just going to go around and round. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. I've really enjoyed making it. And hopefully you'll be all excited to knit your first pair of socks. And carry on going round. And we're just going all the way around, just coming up to the end of round two. This bit gets quicker each time because you're decreasing stitches every other round as well. And that is round two, very nearly completed. There we go. So now we're back to the decrease round now. So we knit one. Make sure you grab your working yarn <laughs> and not your tails like I just did there. Knit one, slip, slip, and then knit them two together. Then you knit to three stitches from the end of this needle. And coming up to near the end, so three stitches from the end and then knit two together, knit one. And the same on needle two, you tuck those yarn tails in, if they're starting to annoy you just tuck them in there. And on needle two, exactly the same thing, knit one. Slip, slip, knit two together and then knit to three stitches from the end. That was the dog jumping down. <laughs> And we're just coming up to the end of this needle. And last three stitches, knit two together and knit one. You're going to do that all the way around until you have 14 stitches left on each needle. So round one is a decrease round. 
and then round two is a plain knit round and just repeat those two rounds until you've got 14 stitches left on each needle and I will meet you back here then. I'm just finished off working the toe decreases and I've got down to 14 stitches for each needle. So now we need to do the kitchener, to the kitchener stitch to graft these two pieces of work together. So you're going to need to cut your yarn but need leave it a relatively long tail. Always better to have too much than not enough. So I've got quite a decent amount of tail on there. It is too long, you don't need that much. But I do like to have more than I need. And where did I put it? Here it is. This is the Kitchener stitch. This is what we're going to be doing. These are little notions pouches that I sell in my shop. Shameless plug there. Um, so basically... I need a needle as well. Right. So put both of your stitches onto your needles. You need them fairly close to the edge, but not so close that they're going to fall off. And thread your yarn. With the Kitchener stitch, there is a repeat that you do and a setup row. So we're going to do the setup first, which is this. So it's front purl on, back knit on. So you thread your yarn through your first stitch, purl wise, and leave it on the needle. And then through the back stitch, knit wise, and leave it on the needle. And that's the setup row complete. Now we're going to be doing this, the repeat. So it's front knit off. So your front stitch here, thread your needle through knit wise and take the stitch off. And then front purl on. So thread your yarn through purl wise and leave that stitch on the needle. Back purl off, back knit on. So back, thread your needle through the stitch purlwise and take that stitch off the needle and pull that through. And then go through knitwise and leave it on. So front, we're going to knit the stitch off, so you take your yarn, your needle through your stitch knitwise and take it off. And then you go through the stitch as if you were to purl, so purl wise and leave it on. Same with the back, you put the needle through the stitch purl wise and you take that one off. And thread your yarn through. And then put the needle through the stitch knitwise, but this time leave it on. So your first stitches you're taking off, then the second stitches you're leaving on. And you can see here, there we go, these are starting to graft together now. So we are going to put the stitch through knitwise and take the stitch off. Thread the yarn through purlwise and leave it on. To your back needle, put the yarn through purlwise and take the stitch off. Then put the yarn through the needle knitwise and leave the stitch on. Back to the front needle, now going to knit off. That one was reluctant to come off. And we are going to purl on. And the back needle, purl off, and knit on. So you can see how, how that's working. Again, front, you're going through, putting your yarn through knitwise, and you're going to take the stitch off. This time you're putting the yarn through purlwise. It's just the direction that you put your yarn through the stitch, that's all. 
back one goes through pearlwise and you take it off back one goes through knitwise and we leave it on front one we knit go knitwise and take off front one pearlwise and leave on back one pearlwise take off back one knitwise and leave on one thing i will be i will say when you're doing this just be careful sometimes the tail wraps around the needle and causes an extra stitch just make sure that doesn't happen that's happened to me many times front knit off front purl on back knit off and back sorry back purl off back knit on and your front one go through knit wise and take the stitch off and then go through purl wise and leave the stitch on back go through purl wise and take the stitch off back go through knit wise and leave the stitch on and you see now how that toe is grafted together focus camera there we go and it just means you've got no seam here front knit wise take off front purl wise leave on back purl wise take off back knit wise leave on front knit wise take off front purl wise leave on back purl wise take off back knit wise leave on front knit wise take off front purl wise leave on back purl wise take off you see how it wrapped around there you just got to watch that it wrapped around my needle back knit wise leave on front knit wise take off back purl wise leave on uh, front purl wise leave on sorry back purl wise take off back knit wise leave on as you get into the last stitches on the needles then they're going to want to fall off so just keep hold of them front knit off front purl on back knit uh, purl off and back knit on front knit off and you can drop that front needle you don't need to purl on because there's no stitch there so you're just knitting off and then back purl off and that is done there you go and that is all kitchened together what i would do at this point before you take the yarn off the needle focus camera I would just pop your needle into any of these stitches here and weave that end in straight away. So put the needle straight into the middle of the sock, turn your sock inside out and just weave that end in straight away. I hate weaving in ends. If I don't do it straight away, I don't do it. 
it's a job that if I leave it, it just annoys me. I have to do it straight away. So that's that one woven in. And I'm just going to go ahead and weave these two tails in here. Where are they? There they are. I'm just going to weave these two in. Sorry about that. I do have to weave tails in straight away. So, turn your sock the right way out. Let's take all my stitch markers off. And we are done. You have just knit your very first sock. There is mine. I should have brought a sock blocker really, shouldn't I? I really hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope that this video was helpful. Thank you so much for joining me in knitting your first sock. Please, please tag me on Instagram. I'll put my Instagram name on the screen so please do tag me if you've used this tutorial to knit your first pair of socks i would love to see thank you so much everybody bye bye